Hey UNT24, my name is Nicholas Savage. I am the National Panhellenic Council President, and I'm also a member of Phi Beta Sigma Fraternity Incorporated. I come to you today to tell you a little bit more information about the NPAC and to just give you a brief overview and to see how you could possibly be involved or just get to know the council as a whole. The National Panhellenic Council was formed in 1930 on the campus of Howard University. The purpose is progression of thoughts and actions as far as possible in the conduct of the Greek letter collegiate fraternities and sororities. I'm sure y'all wanna know how many chapters are involved with our council. As an MPHC, we have a total of nine chapters involved, which only seven are active on this campus. Alpha Phi Alpha Fraternity Incorporated, Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated, Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated, Omega Psi Phi Fraternity Incorporated, Phi Beta Sigma Fraternity Incorporated, Sigma Gamma Rho Sorority Incorporated, and Iota Phi Theta Fraternity Incorporated. Information regarding how to get involved and interest meeting info for the prospective organizations can be found on their following websites. For Alpha Phi Alpha, www.apa1906.net, Alpha Kappa Alpha, www.aka1908.com, Omega Psi Phi Fraternity Incorporated, www.oppf.org, Delta Sigma Theta, www.deltasigmatheta.org, Phi Beta Sigma, www.phibetasigma1914.org, Sigma Gamma Rho, www.sgrow1922.org, and last but not least, Iota Phi Theta, iotaphitheta.org. Joining the Greek fraternity can open up so many doors and gain other opportunities with the people that are involved in these orgs. When I joined the MPAC as a member of Phi Beta Sigma, I had the desire to want to get in and immediately join the brotherhood because as a person that didn't grow up with any brothers, I felt like that's something that I needed in my life. Um, and with those brothers, it brought the other opportunities for career choices, education, and just knowing other people personally on a different level that you wouldn't normally expect it to. Um, they, the principles that these orgs put out work hand in hand together. Um, so just joining the org, it kind of guided me into, okay, I have the brotherhood now they're pushing me for the scholarship and, um, just doing the service for the community is always great. Um, so I definitely say to do your research. Um, on those following websites, or you can follow each one on their perspective um, social media platforms um, as they do have the following information out there as well. Um, when it comes to prices for the different orgs, that's up to their own discretion. Um, so if you would want to reach out to them or um, reach out to me, being that I am the president of the NPAC, I can get those details for you and then I can relay that as well. Um, certain members of the NPAC are heavily involved on campus, including positions in the Student Affairs Department. Um, these students are known to be balanced Greek members. And when I say balanced is, um, you have a Greek member that is strictly Greek, or you have a Greek member that is strictly um, doing everything else away from their organization but a balanced member is someone who is doing both. Um, multiple Greeks in our MPAC have certain positions um, with the student activities department, um, student affairs. Um, some are grad assistants for the Greek Life Center that we have here on campus and a host of other positions that are involved as well. And if you do not want to be reach out to someone or you don't feel comfortable as far as putting your name on something so soon, um, you can reach me at untd9president at gmail.com um, just to give you a little bit more of a comfort 
um, to uphold your discretion for the upcoming school year. Um, I hope that you all make the best decisions coming to UNT. We are excited um, to have you on our campus and all four of our councils, which are the MGC, IFC, MPHC, and Panhellenic Councils, are so excited to have UNT24 on our campus. And just to give you guys a showcase of what we are truly about and our principles. So I just wanna say thank you for giving me the time of your time today to watch this video. And hopefully I gave you some insight that helped you with any questions that you may have regarding the MPAC. If you have any more questions, once again, you can contact me at untd9president at gmail.com or you can follow us on Twitter at UNT MPHC. Thank you.